rejected a set of rules intended to protect net neutrality across the union. Protesters have condemned the ruling, argue, arguing it will result in an uneven playing field for companies operating through the web. They argue that loopholes in legislation let big firms strike deals with broadband providers that allow them to reach users more quickly. Well, this is really about whether we believe that the internet should be open and, and fair for everybody competing for the attention of consumers. Uh, the, the reason that protesters are, are, are so up in arms about this is that the EU, by rejecting these amendments, have said, actually, there are certain circumstances where the people who provide our broadband connections or our mobile phone data connections will be able to charge more for certain types of content to come through to us as consumers. And the fear is for, um, for consumers is that that will limit our choices. It'll mean that big corporations will be able to uh, suppress startups, for example, who may want to offer different types of content. Those who don't want net neutrality, as far as I understand, propose treating the internet essentially like a utilities company, like electricity, for example. Yeah. So the more you use, the more you pay. Why is that problematic? Well, it's less about whether, as a consumer, I'm paying more or, or less for certain types of content. It's whether they're charging the content providers for the rights to have access to consumers. And that's really where the, the, the heart of this problem sits. Uh, if you compare this to the way the EU are, are treating Google at the moment, where they're complaining that Google are saying, You're, you are exploiting your monopoly power to give favoritism to Google services over competitive services. This is essentially the situation that we're allowing to happen through not enshrining net neutrality as being part of the EU's approach to internet freedom. Is this the end of the road? Can this ruling be yeah. appealed? Um, not only is it not the end of the road, Road. And it's going to take probably nine to 12 months before we actually understand what this means. During those nine to 12 months, we're going to see a lot of protests. We're going to see a lot of voices being raised. I